Welcome to the Delmarva Almanac. Each week we connect you to the best of Delmarva. Like other almanacs, our aim is to tell you a little bit about our past, our present, and events in the near future. I'm your host, Dana Kester McCabe. Sarah Lyle says that she declared at the age of seven that she was an artist and has been one ever since. She works in a variety of mediums, including painting, ceramics, printmaking, and more. I feel that uh, my art is very influenced by color and memory, and having grown up in Provence, a lot of those colors uh, really are instilled in, in me. And I went to art school in Provence, in Aix-en-Provence, which is where Cezanne painted, and I lived in a house that he had lived in, and literally under the mountain that he painted so often. And the colors of that part of the world and the light from that part of the world um, are not, Im you can't imitate. And um, I think it's like when, um, when Matisse discovered that south of France light, that um, there's just something there that you can't see anywhere else. However, that idea of light and color that um, I was brought up in have translated to my love of the Eastern Shore and the very different light that we have here with the flat landscape and the reflected light from just the, the whole bay that um, is completely different and equally beautiful in my opinion. I live right on the water and to go out in a kayak and see the reflections of the rushes and the reeds, that kind of double world when the water is still is, is just amazing to me and um, I love to, to reflect on that kind of thing. The inspiration for Sarah's art comes from a variety of places. A lot of times it's just a recurring image that something that seems to draw me, um, something that I see every day or that comes into my mind, even from my dreams. Um, last night I had a, a dream of a huge flock of uh, goldfinches and I was thinking that that would be a beautiful maybe an abstract watercolor. Um, sometimes it's just crossing the bridge or the creek near where I live and seeing again those reflections that I would want to uh, convey that on a canvas. Um, the colors of those, the fall colors here on the Eastern Shore, um, I would draw into something that I would use as a, uh, a glaze for pottery or something like that. So um, that would be the genesis of an idea could just come from, again, it's that color and memory um, that work towards something that I would like, like to create. A lot of the work that I do is from memory and I also work from photographs, sometimes from plein air. Sarah is not necessarily interested in conveying a message through her art. For her, it is more about creating art that is easily accessible and appreciated. Decorative art is something that I feel really um, close to. When I say decorative art, I enjoy making things beautiful around my home and for other people. Sarah's day job is as an administrator for the Queen Anne's County Arts Council, where she also teaches. Well, my background as an art educator is with children, and I love teaching children. Um, so as an audience, they come with no preconceived ideas. They really listen, and I love that, that um, excitement that they have. I find that as they get older, they get more blocks of the I can't, the um, I'm not going to be able to, and just opening up their uh, mind to the I can and I will be able to is probably the most important aspect of teaching in my opinion and I try to do that. Well, I teach uh, paintbrush parties where people come in and have a good time and get to finish a painting in an evening. We have a lot of people come in and you don't have to know how to paint, but you can as well. Uh, we get a, a variety of people who um, really enjoy them. And I'm happy to say that there are a lot of repeat customers, so people must be getting quite a lot of art on their walls by now. <laughs>
Sarah suggests that people who are new to art study other artists past and present or simply any art they like and then practice, practice, practice. But more importantly, she says this. Be yourself and be brave. Fear is a big inhibitor right. for so many of us in everything in our lives and very much in our art. And if you can just let the fear and get your mind out of it and just let the art happen, that's the most important thing. To find out more about Sarah, visit her Facebook page, Sarah Lyle Artfish, which you can get a link to on our website, which is where you'll also find a link to the Queen Anne's County Arts Council website. And don't miss out on visiting their gallery in person in Centerville, Maryland, to see Sarah's work and that of some other fine local artists. Well, that's all for this edition of the Delmarva Almanac. We'd like to thank our community partners, the Friends of Delmarva Public Radio, the Community Foundation of the Eastern Shore, and underwriters EatDrinkByArt.com for their help in bringing this program to you, our audience. Our theme music was provided by Brightside Studio. This show has been a Moonshell production. Thanks for listening. Until we meet again, may the rhythms and tides of Delmarva bring you good fortune.